What's up LEGO Builders? Welcome back to Coconut Brick Studios for another week of building Kato Namoidi and LEGO. I'm really excited for this week. I have a lot more parts in and now that the city's complete, I'm able to really expand what I work on and get a lot more technical. You know, when you're building large mocks like this, the first big chunk of time is going to be taking up creating the initial large structures, whether it be bases, buildings, vehicles, mountains, bridges, cities, all that kind of stuff. And then once you get underway and get those mostly done, you can jump to the smaller things and do the like finer, a little bit more detailed things. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy the big buildings, but there's just something about fun little detailed builds that you can really just finish up within a week or two that are really fun and just really entertaining to work on. So that's good news for you guys because instead of just watching me work on one thing all week, you get to see a bunch of different things. If you're excited to see what I've got cooking up this week, don't forget to execute order 66 on that like button. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you won't miss out on the finale of this epic mock or any future mock projects. All that being said, it's time to get started. This week, I am going to start out by jumping around and doing like a bunch of random builds. Sometimes I like to do this to kind of warm up my building for the week. You know how like when you're about to exercise or you've got a really big workout, you like to stretch, do something light, get a little bit of a sweat going before you jump into the actual, you know, exercise. And I like, sometimes I like to take a similar approach to building. Sometimes they start the week not ready to just dive in and you know fix the underside of the mock or put some kind of massive technic support underneath it. So I like to be able to just move around to some smaller, easier things that get me excited about building, help remind me why I'm doing this. So I'm gonna be jumping between you know working on rock work, doing some work on buildings, maybe putting down some cloud work. Just fun little things that are gonna get me ready for this week. Progress update. I have got a lot to show you guys because I have been really busy with the building, especially with rock work. I've really been trying to get back into doing a lot of rock work just because now that this area is in, I want to make sure I build up these areas just so that everything's kind of growing and progressing at the same rate. So when I started this rock work, it was about right here. I think this was a couple of days ago. So you can see I've got a good four to five inches of rock work done, which is pretty impressive considering I had to go this, I had to do it across this entire stretch. It's crazy how long rock work takes. Like I'll be working for hours and then have like one little patch done or like this little section. So it definitely takes a while, but I think if I just keep cracking, if I just keep tackling chunks like that, it should get done pretty quickly. I did also get some rock work done. I think I was about right here when I started. So very good progress on the rock work already. I'll probably get back to that and do some more this week. Moving on over here. So in that time lapse or montage, whatever you saw me working on the city some more, I got some more gold railings in, working on this building some more. It's slowly coming together. This is really the last area I need to fix or build. This is really the last area I need to build. I got to finish these two apartment buildings. So progress update aside I kind of want to show you or I want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing to strengthen the underside of the city I got some great feedback from you all especially with the technic stuff I think technic is definitely the way to go and so what I've created here is this little I don't even know what to call it uh, length of technic bricks that are going to run underneath the mock and you can see they have hinges or little bending sections at points at different points here every these are going to be underneath these hinge sections on the city so this flat part right here this technic beam is going to hook on right here and then this other one's going to hook on right here and you can see these can bend and wiggle which will allow these hinge points to kind of bend and move like that without breaking because all that weight will now be transferred to this peg and then off onto these Technic beams, which I'm going to you know, securely connect to the city. So this is gonna be underneath in the middle. I just wanted to hook it on here to the side to kind of give you guys an idea of what's gonna happen. So when I take these weights out, they should be able to bear the weight and take some pressure off these joints so they don't pop. Now this is all just a theory. I haven't tested this out yet. I'm gonna to have to put it all together and test it and then I'll show you guys what happened. I do also have a haul here. So I bought this back on December 7th of last year i honestly didn't know if this was going to come in time but it finally arrived a bunch more pieces um, some of these pieces were actually for my castle mock but they took so long to get here that i didn't get them in time unfortunately but that's okay i always love getting more black falcon knights i can use them in future projects i think i got about 12 more of those 
I did get some trans clear one by twos. I got 200 of these. I want to try integrating these with the studs just because these, you know, take up double the amount of space as a stud. So I'm going to try to put those in to help take up some of the space and reduce the amount of studs I'm going to need. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys are the bricks and tiles. So I got a bunch of these dark bluish gray bricks. These should hopefully be enough to help me finish the apartments and then I got a bunch of these tiles. These are going to be for that strip of brick of plates that's going to run along the outside and basically cover up all this ugly interior and make it all nice and smooth and just give it a much more finished look. Oh yeah and one more thing I did get some sweet little tree pieces. I'm going to be using these to build more of these mini trees that are going to populate this middle median and some of these other garden areas on the mock. I have been neglecting this end of the mock for so long. I have mostly been waiting to get more dark bluish gray parts in and I have a bunch in right now. So what I'm going to do is just tackle this last apartment building and get as much of it done as possible. These things are pretty simple to build and it'll be cool to finally show you guys how exactly they come together because I think this might be the first time lapse I've done of the actual apartment buildings. So you can see it's pretty much just an empty frame. I've got the dark bluish gray base and then I have like that black center section where the windows are going to go. That way when you're looking at it you can see the windows but you actually you can't see through into the building and see that it's empty. And then I have that pearl gold detailing in the middle of the windows just to add that Cato Nemoidia style and pop. It's time to wrap up this week and show you what I got done. So after that time lapse finished, I went ahead and finished off the bottom section of the building completely. I even put in the light bluish gray detail pieces on the sides, all of the pearl gold gold bars, the windows, and then over here on the front side, I put the door in. Finished this one as well. It was missing these light bluish gray parts in the door. So these are pretty much finished. Next week I'm going to completely finish them and install the sky bridge. Random little side note, here is a thumbnail idea that I didn't end up using. Plo Koon just blasting a bunch of droids backwards with the force. And I almost forgot something very important I have to show you guys is that Technic Beam thingy that I install installed underneath the city. So you can see it right there, it runs along the entire length of the city. So these are the hinge points right here that were supposed to allow these ball joints to be able to bend. You can see this one didn't line up perfectly, but I figured as long as it, would, it was close, it would be pretty good. So I tested it out and it actually did a decent job at holding the city. The city didn't come crashing down, so it was able to hold it. The problem was I put too many pieces in this little hinge, hinge section and gave it too much motion. It allowed for too much movement in the city. It wasn't stiff enough. And you can see the city was so heavy, it just busted the hinge wide open. So I think what I'm going to do is take this out and I'm going to rebuild it and redesign it. I'm gonna make it stronger and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take out this third Technic brick right here. So it can only hinge on these two Technic pieces, which means, you know, it won't have as much room to bend. Just because the city's so heavy, there's enough of a curve that I don't think I need a bunch of hinge points to accentuate that curve even further, if that makes sense. I'm going to make something a lot stiffer and a lot less mobile, and I think just the gradual weight and curve of the city will give it that curve that I'm looking for. I'm going to try that out next week. I'll take it off and rebuild it, and we should be able to see what it does then. I don't think I've done any more rock work since I last showed you guys, but pretty happy with how, with how it's looking. It's getting very close to being finished. Things are things are wrapping up here. I'm really excited. Um, these next couple of episodes are probably going to be similar to this one of me just jumping around on all on a bunch of different places. I would like to start working on some of the cloud work more now that I have a lot of those studs in and I'm nearing the end. All that being said, it's time to hit the outro. Another week down and I am so excited. I had such a blast this week. Like I was saying, just being able to work on so many different areas really freed me up to kind of 
work on what my mood dictated. You know, sometimes I'm not in the mood to sit there and just build a ton of rock work or really get cerebral and start thinking about how I'm going to hold up a bridge with all these different technique beams and rods and pieces. Sometimes it's just nice to sit down and build something beautiful, something that looks cool, or just, you know, some kind of fancy little building. I have got so many parts coming in right now, which means that next week we're gonna have another large jump in progress. I'm hoping to have about three, maybe four more updates before the finale, which means I am getting really close. All that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, Anything at all, feel free to let me know down below in the comments section. As always, I love interacting with you guys down there, and I will catch you next time. But until then, happy building.